What is going on, everybody? Welcome back, hanging out at the Skybound Lounge. Lounge, studio, gallery. Sky gallery. The gallery, Skybound Gallery. Here we are, San Diego Comic Con 2016. I'm Ezekiel III. Dan is with me again, and also with me again is one of my favorite people that I've met so far, mm -hmm. Claudia. How are you doing? I'm good, thank you. Yay, was that for her? Yay! Oh, yes. <laughs> Woo, Claudia! <laughs> Everybody loves you, look at that. Thank you, that's so nice. <laughs> We're going to talk about a game that I saw, I didn't actually get a chance to sit down and play it, but I saw it on the monitors, and we're going to see some of it, uh, some more of it, gameplay-wise. State of Mind. Uh, right. It's another, it's another edition from, or another uh, um, IP from Daedalic, right. or excuse me, Daedalic. Daedalic. I always pronounce that wrong. You got it this time. Second Daedalic. try is always the best. Yes, absolutely. So we're going to see it. Uh, tell us, like, briefly about it, so we know what's, what, what we're going to right. get yeah. into here. So, uh, uh, State of Mind is a uh, 3D adventure game, um, and uh, it's based in the near future, around the year 2048. I'll we'll talk to her later. in Berlin. Um, and uh, by that time, you know, all the problems that we have nowadays, like overpopulation, resources, have gotten worse. And uh, so, uh, um, at the same time, technology has made a lot, you know, a lot of progress. Uh, as you can see in the game, I don't know if you people can see the, the, the footage right now, but there are androids in the game, um, there are robots that help you out in, uh, everywhere, but also given there are a lot of conflicts about resources in the world, uh, the governments oh, no. have gotten more controlling, so there are drones everywhere, CCTV, and uh, the place, Berlin is sort of a dystopian kind of future, it's not a really pleasant place to live in. Gotcha. Um, and uh, the biggest progress that has been made is that you can actually transfer your consciousness into virtual reality. So there's an alternate world called City 5 uh, where you can live virtually. And some people think that's basically the salvation of humanity. So there are no more hunger, no more later. illnesses. Everyone lives forever in a happy place. And there are some people like Richard, who's the main character of the game. He's a journalist. Hold on one moment, Sorry. please. <laughs> Let me help you um, out. Losing there, that thing that it was bobbing up and down on your face there. <laughs> 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 Kinda losing it a little bit. All right. So keep going. Uh, yeah, the main character of the game is Richard, um, and uh, he's a journalist, and he is not uh, particularly um, into technology. So he's very wary of it. Not he doesn't now. know what it means, you know, how uh, humanity will evolve and what it means for for people to actually live in a virtual world. Uh, okay. Uh, because, okay. Um, so he's suspicious about it, and uh, he's also a bit of a grumpy character. He's a little bit broken. Um, his marriage is not going too well. He doesn't take What's care. What's his Oops. name again? Richard. Richard. Uh, he doesn't take. Richard he's not the a, dick. He's not a best dad in the world. <laughs> um, he's got a woman on the side. He's not treating with that I'll talk kindly to her either. So uh, he doesn't really know. He's not really happy with himself. Gotcha. Let's put okay. it that way. Okay. And um, he's flawed. So, He's kind of flawed. And let me like, tell you, like, you I, I got a got a glimpse of that android, and I, I don't know if I'd want that. Help me, that thing is yeah. creepy. Yeah. He's actually <laughs> very kind. All day. He's really kind. Yeah, yeah he's kind. Yeah. He's a nice guy. I'll do your but, laundry uh, for you. Come on. <laughs> you know what? That actually be pretty good for me. Yeah. Give I'm a, a bachelor. Massage. You know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you need Give me a Come on, Zeke. You need the help. Um, but uh, well, Richard comes home one day and finds that his wife and kid are gone. Okay. So being the, the guy he is, uh, he um, thinks that they probably love, have left him um, because he's not being so nice with them. Uh, but uh, of course he wants them back, so he investigates and uh, suspects that they might have used the program to upload themselves into City 5. Um, so uh, he decides to try it out for himself just to find them back. Um, and uh, something doesn't later. happen like it's supposed to be, or at least that's what he thinks, because he's still, as we start the game, he's still in the, in the real world, he's still in Berlin. Uh, but somehow something happened, and, and a, sort of a copy of himself is created in City 5, um, who is a, world, yeah, right. okay. who's a completely independent person um, called Adam. and. Uh, Adam doesn't really know that he's not real, that he's virtual. So, okay, okay. in order 
for Richard to, to find his family, um, he has to make contact with Adam to help him find, find them the City 5, possibly. Okay. So he hacks into the system, finds a way to communicate with him, and uh, you know, uh, starts finding out what might have happened and what this whole program is all about. Um, Ultimately, the game is about um, you know finding out the story and uh, finding out what um, you know living in the virtual uh, world means. What does it mean to be human? Do you have to have flesh and bones? Does it you know is it enough for you I'll to, to, to be a sentient being to have feelings? Um, you know what constitutes a human being and all the rights and, and uh, responsibilities that come with it. Right. So, I, re I remember. Huh? Um, <clears throat> I remember uh, data having the same kind of exactly, problem. Like, exactly, exactly. Well, I live, I need sustenance, I need all this kind of stuff. Does yeah. that make me a living thing? Something like that, like where do exactly. you draw the line between life and non-life? Mm -hmm. That kind of thing. I love, I love those like esoteric, ponderous questions that you get. Right, so um, actually the, the so he, he has to find out and that you can play several characters in the game. You can play Richard, you can play Adam in City 5. Uh, and a couple of other characters, and ultimately, you know, each character doesn't only give you access to different informations that you have to, you know, collect in order to piece together the story. Uh, but they also give you a different take on, on, uh, you know, their their own opinion on what it means to be human. Um, so you might play an android or uh, an artificial uh, artificial human. So they might have a different standpoint on things than Richard does. Sure, so sure, ultimately, yeah. as a player, we, we give you the choice so you can, can actually make up your own mind uh, on what it means. Um, and uh, in the game, you can basically explore most of Berlin, the city I'm going to show you a little bit, uh, what it looks like. Um, Go take a look outside. Yeah, yeah I love the exactly. art style. <laughs> Not Sorry. So that's basically the dystopian world of Berlin that we designed to look a little bit Bauhausish. So it's a dy very dystopian sure. uh, or Blade Runnerish uh, kind of kind of world. Um, I see you got I see you got the Amazon drones like flying. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Prime is on its <laughs> yeah. way. Like, ah, there's my potato chips. <laughs> and Missing so, those. Um, I can also show you. Am I still still working? It's kind of yeah, you're good. Giving we'll up talk on to me. Her later. Um, and I can show you City 5 as well, if you like. Oh, please. Yes, absolutely. Show right. me everything that you can so within the time limit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so while we're uh, loading this, uh, I just want to remind everybody to please uh, donate. Uh, there is the button down below to the Rett Syndrome Research Trust. Any, anything you have would be much appreciated as we are trying to raise some uh, charity for the fund. So. Uh, we'd appreciate it. Yep, right down below the video. Yeah, I see the button. Give and give generously. Thank you. Right, so now we are in City 5, and you can see it's a lot lighter. The, the art style is a lot more sleek sci fi style, you know, like in the 60s, 70s, Star Trek sci fi right, style. Right, sure. So uh, I think the, essentially Adam's Place, you know, oh, looks the world is much brighter. Huh. Um, Ah. It's always 72 degrees. Yeah, it's nice. It's like Los you know. Angeles. Yeah. <laughs> or jacket weather, if that's what you prefer. Yeah, so the, but when you look outside, you can see the world is completely different. And you actually, you get to explore both of those cities uh, as a player. Okay. Who is um, the, uh, the, the writer? The writer is uh, Martin Gantefer. And uh, he's uh, part of our writer's pool, basically. That, Can you explain uh, that a bit? What is, what is the writer's room at Deadline? The writer's room is, uh, is basically a, um, I'm not going to say pool, because that's a, that's a, um, it's, a, it's a group of writers that we put together, uh, or brought together, um, who work and write uh, stories for computer games, basically. So Martin is, Martin is part of that, as are uh, two or three of our internal writers. Um, and uh, they um, basically, as I explained earlier with Silence, yeah. they basically kind of rule the game development as opposed to the game designers. Uh, right. And this one's, this one's the case as well. So, so State of Mind also is a completely Martin's conception. And we kind of build a game around his vision of the game and his vision of the, of the narrative and the story so that cool. he wanted to explore. Yeah, I think that's, I think that's why like, I, I've either played or, or seen 
I think every game you brought here, and I don't think there, there's not one in the bunch that I would say, mm -hmm. ah, that's a loser, you know, yeah. that kind right. of stuff. Right. Every one of them has a great mm -hmm. narrative, uh, great characters, good story, good mm -hmm. gameplay, that kind of stuff. I'm looking forward to playing all of them when they come out. Thank now, you. is there any information you can give us about when we can get this, play this, whatever? Uh, yeah, that's a, a set of mine is going to come out in early next year, probably Q1. Okay. And uh, it's also going to be available on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox. Cool. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, excellent. Well, it's Claudia, it's been a pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank you As always, you us. are a delight. Thank you to be around, mm -hmm. Dan. You're not always so much pleasure. of a delight. I know, but you're I'll okay. Try. You're all right. All right. I'll massage you later. Yeah, you know. thank you. Wow. Don't go away. We got lots more stuff coming up. San Diego Comic Con here at the Skybound Lounge Studio, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we got some mayhem coming up next. Uh, mobile, uh, competitive mobile game that you yeah. don't want to miss. Mayhem. So stick around. We'll be right back.